Well, the new surge of COVID-19 cases is here. Just as we head into fall, public health officials are worried the one-two punch of COVID, flu, COVID and flu may take a big toll on the American health care system. But as Fox News correspondent Jonathan Sayari tells us, the White House is getting betting on a vaccine getting here before that can happen. Public health officials are scrambling to contain a new surge in coronavirus cases and deaths. Infections had been trending downward for weeks, but now we're seeing double digit increases in a handful of states. Despite the surge, mayors and governors are moving ahead with their reopening plans, including New York City gearing up for a return to indoor dining next week and Connecticut, which just entered phase three of its reopening. It'd be nice to have a little extra capacity. It's a good thing that we're opening up again and you know, having the dinner nights like a regular life back again. The Trump administration now working around the clock to get a vaccine developed. At least two candidates, Pfizer and Moderna, expected to be ready for approval by the end of October. But there are growing concerns that the process has become politicized. And at least one state, New York, says it will conduct its own review even if the FDA signs off. Federal health officials trying to reassure a skeptical public safety is the number one priority. From the minute we stick it into somebody's arm in a phase one, to the end of a phase four, we're looking at safety. And as work on the vaccine moves forward, the FBI says Chinese hackers continue to target U.S. pharmaceutical companies. The efforts allegedly aimed at helping China get a leg up on vaccine research and development. They are involved in purporting what's good for China's national interest. Dr. Fauci is also warning about the growing threat of airborne transmission as winter approaches and people spend more time indoors. In Atlanta, Jonathan Seri, Fox News.